My name is Song Rui. My presentation is towards key recovery attack friendly distinguishers. Its application to gift one to eight. It's my joint work with Dong Xiaoyang, Chen Huifeng, Luo Yiyuan, Wang Si, and Li Zheng. My presentation contains four parts. The first one, we talk about the background and our motivation to write this paper. The second is our strategy for searching differential or linear distinguishers. Then we talk about uh, the differential crypt analysis result of gift 28. Then we give the linear crypt analysis result of gift 128, gift COFB, and Sunday gift. We go to the first part. Differential crypt analysis is proposed by Biham and Shamir in Crypto 1990. It evaluates the security of a cipher by its different propagation property. And in this method, it often uses differential tools as a distinguisher. Linear crypt analysis is proposed by Matsui in Eurocrypt in 1993. It evaluates a cipher separately by the linear approximation property. In this method, it uses linear hole or linear trails as a distinguisher. And during a differential or linear attack procedure, it contains four steps. The first, find the uh, R1 distinguisher with its input denoted by alpha and its output value denoted by beta with probability p. <coughs> the second, extend the wrong functions at the top from alpha and the bottom from beta. Third, check the involved key bits in the extended wrongs. Last, collect enough messages and use statistical methods finding the right key value. So, in this procedure, the first and the middle step is to search out some valid distinguishers. The two steps, first searching distinguishers, second attack procedure, are usually regarded as two independent steps. So, when we mount an attack, we usually have two expectations. The first is long. It means that the procedure should cover more and more run functions. It also means that more run functions should be extended at the top and the bottom of a distinguisher. The second is low complexity. And it is very related with the involved key base number in the extended run, fun run function. So the number should be very small. And we find that both expectations are decided by the distinguisher's input and the output. Some distinguishers are advantages when utilized to mount key recovery attacks. Uh, it means that if we have two distinguishers, it covers the same run function, but uh, one can be extended uh, uh, four runs at the top. The other one is only can be extended by one round. We mean the first one is advantage. So we want to find which values of alpha and beta can satisfy the two expectations. The two expectations. Once a distinguisher with this input and output values is found then we can mount an efficient attack. Uh, it means uh, cover more rounds with lower complexity. And we also notice that a uh, work on gift 128 by Wen Liu Wu, it gives the longest differential distinguisher of gift 128 that it covered 21 rounds, but it cannot be directly used to attack more round functions. So in their paper, they use its first 20 round differential trail as a distinguisher to attack uh, the 26 round version of GIFT 1 to 8.
Let me give a very simple introduction of give the one to it. It is proposed by Banik at Chess 2017. Its key size is 128 bit with the same size state. It employs a uh, SPN structure with 40 rounds and uh, gift is also among the most competitive lightweight boxes ciphers. The run function contains three operations. The first one sub cells. It applies 32 4-bit S boxes to every nibble and the perm base operation is a very simple linear bit permutation operation and add around the key. Its key schedule is also very simple with most key sets at 128. The round key size is uh, 64 and the key state is updated by a very uh, combination of very simple operation for example the rotation. The second part is our strategy for searching differential and the linear distinguisher. Uh, it is a two-step process. The first step we specify the input and output values in a set called the initial site. And the values in the site satisfy uh, the above two expectations. The first uh, morons can be extended from the input and output values then the amount of involved key bits in the extended run is small. The second step, we search for advantages distinguishers with input and output values chosen only from the initial set given in the first step. And we first introduce the process of searching for differential trails. For the first step, we use the MILP technique to search for the initial site and here are the two reasons why we do uh, with the MRP. First, searching space of this step is very small and when compared with the length of the distinguisher, the number of extended rounds is usually very small and the second, the MRP technique is sufficient and efficient. Then we talk how to construct uh, how to construct the MRP model and uh, in during attack that's this activity matters but not the difference value for example for uh, s balls with input difference value 0, 0, 0, 1 its output difference can be 8 values so we mark all four output bits as answered bins at every bit in this eight output difference values can be both zero or one. Then we use zero to denote inactive bits and then use one to denote active or answered bits. And the constraints of the activities of the Xbox is input and output. We notice that the four output bits are uh, one as long as the input has at least one active bit. We use eight boolean variables denoting its input and output difference. Then the rule of each output bit can be constrained by the following five inequalities and the 20 in total for each S box. And, and then we talk how to describe the inner layer. We use 128 Boolean variable describing the activities of the input state of each extended round. And also as prompt bit is a linear operation, no extra variables are needed to describe it. Then we construct inequalities describing all relations between the states in two consecutive rounds. And here is the other constraints. First, we extend it at the bottom of a differential. Its output difference, denoted by S0, should have at least one active bit. And the output difference of the last extended round, denoted by SR, should have at least one inactive bit. And these two constraints can be described with the following two inequalities. 
then till now we can construct the MRP model describing the state's activities in the added R1 at the bottom of the distribution. We saw the MRP model with R equals to 1. If the R1 model is feasible, we construct the R plus 1 wrong model and see whether it is feasible. Finally, we find the largest R1 feasible model is the number of runs can be extended at the bottom. And the objective function can be optional. And the MRP model describing the runs extended at the bottom at the top is a similar process, except that when extending backward at the top of a distinguisher, the number of active bits in the last added round should be less than 128 to avoid a full code book attack. Then, after we determine how many rounds can be extended, we are adding the involved key bits. We use 64 Boolean variables denote uh, the round key and uh, its uh, value is zero if uh, a, a round key bit is not involved and uh, we set it as one if it is involved and also if uh, a round key bit is as running with xg before the subcell operation we set it as zero and uh, sec set it as one otherwise. And also the constraint can be described by the following inequality. And the two round k-bits share a similar variable if they are derived from a small mass k-bit. The object function is about the number of involved k-bits. It should be as small as for, um, possible finally we get the initial side using the above model we collect all values that can be extended by most rounds with small amount of involved k-bits into a set called the initial side and once a differential with this input and output values is found we can mount an efficient attack. The second step. And during the second step, uh, it can be described as a revisit of matrix branch and bond or algorithm. And, and its feature is that <coughs> the algorithm guarantees to return all best trails for some specific initial value which is very suitable for this step and also we have some dedicated setting first we only choose initial values from the initial set of course and the second is set the upper bound of active s voices in each run function to be four and third we set the lower bound of the probability of valid differential uh, is to be uh, 2 to minus 1 to 8 and uh, here is our uh, matrix branch and bond algorithm first is the initialization and the second is the recursive search and finally we record all qualified results and we're searching for linear trials we use uh, Everything instead of DDT to describe the linear mask propagation through the subcell operation. Um, but the inequalities describing the constraints is the same as the DDT. And also, due to the fact that the interplay of the S balls and the linear layer uh, in gift 1 to 8 is well crafted to resist linear corruption analysis, uh, we cannot search out a long linear trails when t is less or equal to 4 so we set t as 5 then we give the differential corrupt analysis of uh, uh, gift 1 to 8 uh, during the first step we find that uh, at most the most 4 rounds can be extended at the top of uh, input value and uh, 
at most three wrong functions can be added at the bottom of a distinguisher. And for the best solutions, uh, 62 kbs, kbs is involved, and but but with this number of uh, uh, involved kbs, we we cannot find uh, valid distinguishers. Uh, and the second best solution is uh, with involved kbs number is 18, and with this number of involved kbs, we can find valid distinguishers. And here is uh, eight twenty round differentials with probability of uh, two to minus one to one dot a three. And uh, here is uh, two twenty round differential trials with probability of two to minus one to four. Finally, we mount a uh, twenty-seven round attack differential attack on gift one to eight with the differential its input difference and output difference is as uh, shown in this slide. We add four rounds at the top and add the three rounds at the bottom, and the attack is twenty-seven round version. Its data complexity is uh, two two one two four dot a3 and the time complexity is 2123.53 and the memory complexity is the 2280 bit to store the value of involved kbs and uh, in this slide it shows the state of four added run functions at the top And in, the, in this lab, uh, it shows the details of the activities of the state during the three added rounds at the bottom. And here is the details of the KBs involved uh, during the attack procedure. The last, we give our Indian corrupt analysis result of gift one to eight and the gift the CVFB and a Sony gift and also for the first step we find four extended rounds can can be added at the top and the three rounds can be added added at the most at the bottom and for the best solutions uh, 56 bit KBs are involved but no valid distinguishers are found out. Finally, we find the valid distinguishers with 76 KBs. And here is the 8 15 round linear holes of gift 1 to 8. And uh, this is this, these are two 17 round linear trails with probability of 2 to minus 116. Finally, uh, we mount uh, a 22 round linear hole attack. Its uh, complexity is decided by uh, its involved KBS numbers and the compressed counter. And we find that use the original 15 round linear hole, we cannot uh, mount uh, attack its 22 version by adding four rounds and three rounds at the uh, top and the bottom. So we 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 use a 15 round linear hole to uh, derive a 17 round linear hole with probability of two to minus 115. And finally the. 17 round linear hole is as shown in this slide with input mask and output mask is probability is 2 to uh, 115 min uh, 2 to minus 115 we add three rounds at the top and add two rounds at the bottom to attack is 22 round version its time complexity is 
2 to 170, its state complexity is 2 to 170, and the memory complexity is 2 to 78 bit to implement the counters. And in this slide, we show the details of the activeness of the state in the uh, three run function that is the top. And in this lab, we show the details of the activities during the two extended run function at the bottom. And here is the KBS involved in the linear attack. And we also uh, capitalizes the severity of gift CUFB against the linear crypto analysis and it's for gift CUFB it's it has a birthday bond and as the security claim it, so its data complexity should be less than 2264 and also uh, in the input of EK showing in this equality error is unknown so no active mask based in the most significant half of the input finally we attack it with the narrow linear hole with its input mask and output mask as shown in this slide the attack is 15 round version with three extended rounds both on the top and the bottom. Its data complexity is 2262 and uh, its time complexity is 2290.7 and its memory complexity is 2296 bit. And we also uh, give a linear craft analysis result on Sunday gift and for Sunday gift it also has a birthday bond, so its data complexity should be less than 2264. So we use some short uh, uh, 10 round linear trio with its input mask and output mask shown in the slide to attack it. And finally, we attack its 16 round version with 4 extended rounds at the top and 2 extended rounds at the bottom. Uh, for this attack procedure, the data complexity is 2260 and the time complexity is 2291.2 and the memory complexity is 2296 bit space. Right. We give a summary of the differential and the linear trails of gift 1 to it by the time this paper is submitted. As shown in this list, we can find that our differential trail is not the longest, but we give the longest uh, attack for of gift one to eight, and for linear trails, uh, our our distinguisher is the the longest. And here is the summary of crop analysis result of the gift one to eight. Uh, we give the uh, Best differential curve analysis and the linear curve analysis result of gift one to eight. Okay, thank you.